Hello everyone. Um, in this video, we will try to create one console application. In the console application, we will try to connect the Dynamic 365 or with the application user. And for the application user, we will register the application app app, app registration in the portal Azure portal, and we'll see the setup of that one how we can use it to connect it. So basically, I will create the CRM service in the console application. So this service can be used later on to do the CRUD operations and all. So let's proceed here. So this is my uh, admin portal, uh, ad, admin prior platform login, where I have this instance where I need to connect. And this is the URL of my Dynamics. And uh, to connect this one, I need to register the application uh, user in, the, in this URL. But before that, I need to set up the app registration. So I have logged into the Azure portal with the same account which I have logged into my Dynamics. So I have login here. I do not have any subscription. This is the my trial instance. So with that only I have login here. And on the application uh, here, app registration on the Azure portal, we are having the app registration. So we'll go to the app registration and then we will register the new application here. So I can name something DNLB 53 demo user. Deno app user. So this is the name of the uh, my application registration. But if you want to make this as a single tenant, you can select this one. If you want to enable for multi tenant, you can enable this one. But you can select it and then you can register it. Once it is registered, uh, if we need to create the application uh, for this one for this app registration as a client ID and secret, so that we will go to the certificates and secret, and then we can configure the new certificate and secret. If you want to specify some description, you can, but we can keep it blank. So it will create the secrets for us. So I will copy the secret into my notepad. Okay. Okay, so I have copied my secret. Then uh, also I need to copy my the application ID. So this is the application ID. We can go to the overview of the app registration. You can have the application ID. Okay, so I have copied both. So these two I will be needing while making the connections in the console application. So my app registration is uh, application registration setup is done. Now I need to create the application user in the dynamic. So for that I will go to the my admin.powerplatform.com at microsoft.com then environments I will select the environment for which environment I want to connect in the console application. So for that environment I will open it. This is my environment and then we'll go to the setting here. And inside the setting, uh, we'll have the setting for the application user under the users plus permissions. So here we'll go to the application user and we'll try to add the new application user here, the new app user. And as soon as you will try to add app user automatically with your credential login, it will search the application user created by you or created by other your team members under the in the Azure portal. So you can select that one since I have only one application user created here. That is why I can see it. I will select this application uh, app registration as a you know, authentication from the Azure uh, to authenticate it the dynamics. So here I will connect it and add. So business unit we can set as a root business unit or because sometimes you will have the application user application user where you want to have the access on the particular business unit label. So based on the complexity of your uh, the interface where you are using this application user or which uh, business unit you want to uh, scope it, you can select that one. So since I have only one business unit, the root root business unit that is what I am selecting here, and create the application user. One more thing we need to do in the app registration is that let it get created. Then we'll see in the in the uh, Azure portal we have to allow the permissions of the dynamics on the application user. Meanwhile, it is okay. It is created now here. So this is my the my application user in the dynamic 365 created. Now I'll go to the uh, uh, Azure portal here and then one more thing after the client secret is created we have to allow the permissions to access the dynamic 365 here yeah, so for that we'll go to the API permission and here we have to add the permissions to use the dynamic 365 so we'll go to the add permission here 
and uh, you can search it or you can find a Dynamic 365 so here it is the Dynamic CRM here so you can select this one and you can make the delegate permissions on this one so make sure uh, all the permissions when you add it is granted so based on the sometimes your roles you will uh, only the particular admins and permissions on the application user you will be able to grant it so if you are the viewers users uh, as reader users you cannot grant it so you may need someone from the admin who can grant it so make sure the permissions what you want to grant on this application user application registration uh, you have granted that one so make sure we have granted now uh, the consent here so once it is granted consent is done now this app app registration i uh, will be using the client id secret to authenticate the dynamic 365 so now the setup is done so i have created the application user also i have stored my client id secret also now i have to build my the console application so i have already started the creating the new project so i have selected the console application.net framework clicking next demo console so it will create the basically console application with uh, one program.cs file so we will modify the program.cs file i'm not going to change it let's keep it uh, as default uh, this is the uh, main class sorry main function in the program class i'm going to edit this function so basically we need to create some variables which will store our data so here i uh, have the string variables which will be the client id equals to and the client id which we have copied here this is the client id then we have the client secret Okay, and then we can have few more parameters, so which is called the auth authority. So string authority. So what is the purpose of this authority is that um, it basically used to locate where our say authentication and authorization services are located. To find it, basically you can go to the uh, our Azure portal, and then if you go to the here in the overview and then endpoints, you can see here the it will give the URL until this here it will be called the this is our tnet id so if you compare this tnet id this id will be the same so till this path it locates this is where our author, authorization and authentication services are located so this will be our authority url so we can copy this part just after this login.microsoftonline.com slash and then our tnet id so we can copy this one and this we can make it as a authority url so i have i will set this authority url okay so it is done there is a uh, now if they be then we need to create the uh, uh, connection string which can be used to connect it so we can let's take that string connection string equals to so it basically the authentication type will be the client secret so we'll take that auth, auth type equals to client secret then we have the client id so let me take like this okay so client id will be the our client id then we have client secret then we have the uh, authority then there is one more parameter in the connection string that is called instance uh, required new instance so required new instance instance and that will be the true the purpose purpose of this one is that every time whenever try to create this crm service it will try to it will try to connect uh, it will try to get the new CRM. it will try to give you the new crm service so that every time when you try to use the crm and do some operations you will make sure you are getting the latest instance of the crm and to perform those operations so that is the purpose now we to connect it further we need the uh, uh crm xdk so those things i have not yet installed those packages so i will go to the references here and then try to add that package here so we'll go to the references and add manage nuget packages here i will browse the microsoft uh 
xrem dot tooling so this is the our uh, package we need to install so i'm going to install it it may require to accept the permissions to install it so it will take some time okay so i'll accept the permission so it will start installing those packages so once it is done i will close it then from cs now i will use this class using microsoft.xm.sdk.tooling dot tooling dot and okay tooling till here we'll use so now uh, this class we have used we can uh, sometimes if you want to use entities and all we can use microsoft xm.stk so till here we can use so once it is there now i have to uh, connect it so for that the object we will be creating is the called crm service uh, crm service client crm service client uh, it there we call this a crm service just a new CRM service client. So this object will be present using the connector. So under tooling dot connector. Otherwise, you can use connector dot CRM service client directly. So this is expecting the connection string on which it will be creating. So I will pass the connection string here. So it is done. So once it will be. So that is why whenever you try to create this in class when you try to instance this class if you have if you are setting the required new instance equals to 2 then every time whenever this line this line will be called it will try to give you the phrase instance of this uh, crm service into the crm service uh, so this is but i uh, it is recommended to use the uh, phrase instance every time but if the application is very simple then you can make it as false but if the, your uh, interface is complicated then make sure you are setting this as a true it is recommended so now uh, we can check it if the crm service is uh, ready which means it is initialized correctly then we can write the console dot write line crm connection establish crm connected successfully otherwise else we can write console dot write line CRM connection failed okay so but basically you can unwrap this into the try catch and all if you want to further so I'm going not I'm not going there so uh, let's keep uh, I'm keep keeping this at aside as of now just I wanted to make the CRM services getting in slides correctly I'm going to write one more line console dot read line just making sure it is not uh, the the console uh, console window which will open it is not terminating automatically so uh, i've written it so now it is fine let's uh, build this okay here we are missing one more parameter which is the our um instance url so it will or definitely fail i'm missing now here when i'm seeing this url we have to add the url parameter so it will be the url it will be our dynamics url so i'm setting this as here string a crm url so here this url we can get from here when you go to your environment it this is your our instance url so you can copy when you load it so this will be the your instance url where it will be connecting right so you can copy this one and we will try to connect on this url so setting it here 
So now everything is fine. Okay, let's reveal this. So build was succeed. So I'm going to run it now. Let's check if it is working. So now you can see the CRM success. It was connection successfully. So like this, you can uh, store this. Uh, you can use this uh, piece of code uh, to uh, make the connections to the Dynamic 365. And later on, this CRM service object can be used for the further operations like uh, create, update, delete any any operations of the CRM of uh, CRM uh, actions you want to perform. All those things we can do using this service. So I hope this video was useful to you, and um, I will try to create some more videos on top of it to explain it better. So thank you for watching this video, guys, and have a nice day.